just imagine you stand in front of Torricelli's tank and you see water gushing out of its side at a height of about one yard and it gushes over three yards. Does the fire brigade have to come or can we expect that the water will come to an end very soon? How can we work this out? Well, that's easy. All we have to apply is Torricelli's principle. What is the speed of the gushing water? That is the question we have to answer first. What is the speed? Well, the speed will be V equals S times T. That's the speed with which the water gushes out of the hole in the tank. And uh, we know, well, we have a yardstick, we can measure that that distance is 3 yards. We don't know the time. The time is crucial here. How do we get the time? Well, let's assume the water drops just like uh, a ball drops under gravity and um, that means we assume that the water drops every droplet of the water drops under gravity and we can write down the equation for that namely that the height as a function of time well it drops over one yard down that is equal to one half gravitational acceleration times t squared. That can be rearranged so that we obtain for t the square root of 2h, that's this height, that's the h, the little h, divided by gravitational acceleration. So substituting with the numbers we've got, we then obtain for the speed with which the water gushes out of the tank v the exit speed is equal to S, which is the distance, 3 yards, divided by the square root of what we just obtained, the time, 2h divided by gravitational acceleration. If we substitute 3 yards divided by the square root of 2 times 1 yard, it's this yard here, divided by 10 meters per second squared. What is that? Well, in order to work this out, we have to transform yards into SI units, into meters, or we could go the other way around. We could convert meters into yards, but um, maybe it's more convenient to use SI units. We know one yard is equal to 0 0.9144 meters and we can approximate that for this guesstimate here to about 0.91 meters. So if we substitute in our equation we obtain V, the speed with which the water gushes out, is 3 times 0 0.91 meters divided by the square root of 2 times 0 0.91 meters divided by about 10 meters per second squared gravitational acceleration. The calculator will tell us that that's equal to 6.4 meters per second. Well, all good, but we still don't know the height of the water, the height of the water in the tank. How high is the water in the tank? Do we have water up to here? Do we have water up to there? Or maybe all the way up? How do we work this out? I already said Torricelli's, Torricelli's principle will tell us. The height h of the water level inside the tank. And we can't look inside, otherwise it would be straightforward, wouldn't it? Inside the tank. That's what we are after. Well, let's apply Torricelli's principle. Torricelli's principle, sometimes referred to as law, which then found its way into Bernoulli's equation. So it says, the principle says that the effluent speed, that's our V, our little v has to be equal has to be equal to the speed to the speed to that of 
a raindrop or any droplet, water droplet, or any object really, any point mass, falling from the same height height capital H now is uh, the water level that is Torricelli's principle and that's what we apply here because we say that the kinetic energy of a droplet that has fallen through that height h mv squared half is the same kinetic energy as that of a droplet in that water stream that gushes out of the hole and because of energy conservation that's given by m times g times the capital H the height of the water level if we rearrange this we obtain capital H the height of the water level is equal to v squared divided by 2 gravitational acceleration and now we substitute we substitute with our result from earlier here we substitute for v and we obtain s squared so substitute substitute for v squared and we obtain s squared divided by 2 times little h divided by g times 1 over 2 g. That can be simplified so that we obtain s squared divided by 4h and that again is equal to 3 yards. s is the distance the water gushes over and that's 3 yards and the height, the little height h is 1 yard so we've got 3 yards squared notice we don't really have to go to meters at this point divided by 4 times the little h which is 1 yard, so 4 times 1 yard and that's equal to 9 over 4 yards that is 2.25 yards and again converting into meters this is about 2 meters Two meters of water still to come. Gee, call the fire brigade. <laughs>